In QuickBooks Enterprise, you would use the unit of measure feature for anything that you purchase and sell in different units of measure. To do this, you would first set up your unit of measure for that. So to do it, we're going to go to List, UM Set List. And the example I'm going to use is wire that you might purchase and sell differently. You might purchase it by the yard, but sell it by the foot or inch. So I'm going to create a new unit of measure first, which will be a length. And you always set it for the lowest unit of measure, which is an inch. And then bring in the other units of measure you can have with it. We can have it by the foot or the yard. We're saying that we're always going to purchase it by the yard and sell it by the lowest, the inch. You can also change it to feet, and I'll show you how to do that when we create an invoice. I'm going to hit Next, and just call it Length by Inch. You can call it anything you'd like. Then, we're going to go back to List and create our item that we're going to use that in. You can use your units of measure in as many items as you'd like. So, go to my item list and create a new item, and I'm going to call it copper wire. So, cop wire. I'm going to go to my unit of measure set list and make it the length by inch. I'm going to give it the cost by inch here, and you always do the lowest cost. So, we're going to say our cost by inch is three hundred and sixty dollars. Uh, I'm sorry, thirty three point six. And we're going to sell it for five dollars an inch. Don't forget to put in your income item. And now I'm going to show you how to use it. First, on a purchase order. going to purchase our copper wire. And if you notice, it already converted it to yards and converted the rate by yard. I'm going to say five yards. You also notice if I change this and I can convert it to feet, and I can also convert it to inches. But I want to say I want to purchase it by the yard. So I'm going to go back here and say my five yards. Then we now have received it in and we want to sell it. We're going to create our invoice. Put back in that copper wire. And I want to sell 12 inches but I could have also sold it as a foot, and the price doesn't change. And that's the easy way to handle units of measure in QuickBooks.